me again on the professional. A true professional must be able to demonstrate some globally acceptable norms and standards or etiquettes. The behavior of professionals are consistent across the world. So you cannot be a professional manager somewhere and unprofessional elsewhere. So these are globally as acceptable standards and benchmarks. So as we deal on this show, I'll continue to reel out certain elements, certain variables, certain factors that make you a true professional, both in Nigeria or any other part of the world. Remember, we started on this show by dealing with the acronym professionals. We had treated the letter P. Today, I'm going to talk quickly on the letter R, meaning respect. What does it mean to say respect people? I think this is one word we're quite used to in this part of the world, but from a professional point of view, it means we have, we have regard, we have consideration for the other person's time, for their, for their experience, for their values, as long as they are acceptable. Okay, so you hear my story. It was a pitch process, supposedly in a multinational agency, multinational organization actually. Uh, we had been invited. Unknown to us, one of the clients, one of the members of the client's team had already promised another agency with or without the merit of the case. And when you are unprofessional, you will lose track of certain protocols and etiquettes. Therefore, this person, in a bid to quickly close the deal for the friend, did not follow acceptable protocols. We were kept at the reception for hours, I mean hours, three, four hours at the reception. And finally, we met with a team of very young, inexperienced managers, which was completely anti what that organization stood for. Of course, we took it up formally, and it was redressed. That action from this particular manager was pretty disrespectful. Respect means you do to others as you want them to deal with you. How do we explain situations nowadays where you find a client give agency A's idea, creative idea, intellectual property, intellectual ideas to agency B because they are friends in there without due recourse. There was no regard, no respect, no consultation to the original owner of the concept. I mean, the worst case scenario or the best that should happen is a situation where you are calling this agency who had the idea to say, you know what, we like your idea, we're sorry we can't work with you, but we're going to have to use your idea. And then you have the, have the discussion and have the conversations. They could make you use it for free or they could make you pay for it. That is, that is respect. That is a professional. But when you take this under the guise of it's a pitch or whatsoever, and you give to your friend, agents, this agency A gets to know what has happened and you lose respect corporately and as individuals. And I must make a note here. As a manager, remember, you represent the corporate entity. So when you misbehave as a manager, you rub off your organization negatively. You erode the equity of your organization. You must have respect for your agencies, your vendors, your suppliers, third party and all. They are humans. They also run entities. Respect them. Agencies must all respect. They have to respect clients. Aside the fact that the client is the one that pays the piper and detects the tune, as the case may be sometimes, we must respect the client. There are instances where agencies have had clients to ransom. And as a client, I know what this was to me. When an agency tried to like hold me to ransom, last minute, and then he comes back, unable to deliver what he has promised to deliver. That is disrespectful. Because you then throw the client into shutters. That is not right. In rounding up, let's remember that we must respect ourselves as agencies, as clients, because we need ourselves. But please note above all that unethical behavior erodes respect. That is given. So let's be professional, 
behave in line with agreeable global protocols and standards. Thank you. I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.